Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mike from Mobox, and in this VFX breakdown, we're gonna be taking a look at the animations we created for the real engineering video, How to Find a Planet. There were a lot of really fun animations that we created from a miniature model of an alien solar system to a tour of our own solar system, but there are even more than that. So I urge you to watch the real engineering video. Link will be down in the description. I think you'll learn a lot. I've also added a few links down in the description for other videos that kind of pertain to some of the techniques we used in this video. So looking at the main animation, we travel from the surface of Earth to Mercury, then Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and closing out at Saturn. This entire composition was created within After Effects and every planet, with the exception of Jupiter, were composite images combining actual photos of the planet along with some adjustment layers. This was done to give each planet the proper colorization that you would expect, but also one that is more accurate. Some images of planets were taken from cameras that see different wavelengths of light, so if you model using these images, then the planet would actually look less realistic. For example, images of Venus to surface show the terrain through the clouds, whereas in real life you would just see the clouds. Once the composite images were created to add depth and a proper color correction, they're wrapped around a sphere using CC Sphere Tool. Aside from the seam caused by an imperfect composition texture, they rotate in all directions and behave like a planet with the respective lighting, direction, and intensity. Once the black backdrop and some stars are added, the composition starts to come together. It's almost serene how you could somehow condense 20 hours of software crashes, tears, and whiskey into a 10 second animation. Saturn and Uranus were different animals altogether. We needed to find a way to accurately represent their rings. Everything we tried ended up looking about as authentic as the tears your parents shed when you finally decided to move out. To get the look we wanted, we used a sliver image of Saturn's ring and duplicated this around 360 degrees. After some radial blurs and duplication of layers, the ring actually had some various opacity levels and the overall ring actually looked pretty uniform without looking like an artificial solid object. The same techniques were used on Uranus, but slightly different. Back to the main animation composition, we started with a star scene, but we were unable to zoom into the sky because of the resolution. We instead masked out the sky and applied our own gradient and stars. Zooming into the planets was simple, but generally uninteresting. That's why Saturn we opted to rotate around the planet to show the work that was put into it. In 3D we created a C-shape with the stars layering them around Saturn. After some rigging, we were able to rotate the entire planet and star system. This is when we added in the sun. The sun is just a lens flare, but it has to look right. Unfortunately, we didn't rig the flare to a 3D null, which would have been smart. Instead, we opted to move it by hand. Why, you might ask? Well, we're still asking ourselves that same question. The end result looks pretty good still, but it could have been improved. So yeah, basically that's it. Overall, this project was a lot of fun because we were able to use a lot of really simple techniques such as CC sphere and CC ball action, um, which saves us a lot of time, but also allowed us to spend a lot more time on other things that matter, such as planet textures that actually look realistic and composite rings around planets, utilizing rings that are actually handmade and not solid opaque objects that look completely artificial. And lastly, we were able to create rigs that allowed us to create a more realistic movement um, where things actually move in the way that you would expect them to move. But that's it for this video. If you want, check out the video, How to Find a Planet on Real Engineering YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching.